Welcome back, pilots. I know some of you aren't afraid of getting your hands dirty. So, if you're not shy of a scrap, get ready to rumble. Because this time, we're covering the Eva 8 shotgun. Shotguns are an enduring part of firearms history, used both on old world frontiers and the new. Their simple construction and ability to fire a wide variety of rounds, lending themselves to both civilian and military use. Now, the Eva 8 is a mite more advanced than your typical scout gun, tailored to a far more rigorous standard for modern military usage. This semi-automatic shotgun is capable of sustained fire without stoppage, even in zero atmosphere environments. The weapon's collapsible stock and rugged construction make it ideal for use by vehicle crews in confined spaces. It's this role that gives the weapon its name, EVA or extravehicular activity. Despite its advanced design, the weapon fires traditional 12-gauge cartridges, with most combat roles electing to use double or buckshot for its reliable lethality on human-sized targets. It's a tried and tested load that does the business. And even in the face of future warfare, it seems that shotguns aren't going anywhere. Now, if you're looking for damage, you need look no further than the EVA 8. Up close, it's a powerhouse. As long as you're within the weapon's effective range, you can kill any infantry with just a single shot, assuming your pellets land on target. However, as the distance from your target increases, so do your odds of needing a follow-up shot, and enemy spectres and pilots may sometimes need two or three shots to reliably shut down. Note that headshots don't matter with this weapon, so aiming center mass is the wisest tactic to deal maximum damage, as more of your pellets will connect with the larger surface area. As with most pilot weapons, tackling Titans directly is pure folly. By the time you're close enough to do any real damage, you'll be subject to a severe risk of trampling. Rodeo damage is more substantial, but the limited magazine capacity may mean you'll need to reload more than once to completely destroy a more resilient Titan. The major caveat, with great power comes extremely limited effective range. Your damage will start to drop from just 5 meters away, rapidly decaying to its minimum level at 16 meters. At this range, you won't stand a chance against an uninjured opponent, so it's important to learn your limits and flee combat when not found in your favor. Recoil is heavy but simply not a factor. The 12 gauge might kick like a mule, but the pellet spread eliminates the need for precision. This spread remains the same whether you're aiming down your sights or hip firing and the ability to quickly saturate an area with high damage pellets without aiming is what makes shotguns so deadly within close quarters combat. Accuracy remains constant both on the ground and in the air, so you can wall run without fear of compromising the shotgun's lethality. Compared to other weapons, shot dispersion is quite broad, but the fact that the EVA fires 8 pellets at once means you're far more likely to score a hit on a fast moving target as a result. Rate of fire is quite slow. The semi-automatic ability tops out at around 100 rounds per minute, with a separate trigger pull required for each shot. If you time your shot well, you should be able to quickly secure kills, but the delay between firing can sometimes give an opponent the chance to fight back. If you're lucky enough to have the amped variant at your disposal, you'll find the shotgun is fully automatic, with a much faster rate of fire, although this will mean reloads may occur much more often. The shotgun's drum magazine holds a relatively lean 6 rounds, or 9 with the high capacity mod equipped. This should normally prove sufficient when tackling a single enemy, but for larger groups you may need to fall back to your sidearm for sustained firepower. Reloads are quite slow, taking at least 2.75 seconds to complete, or 3 seconds while empty. It's critical to keep a tab on your remaining count, as close quarters combat will not often afford a suitable interval to resupply. Again, equipping a decent sidearm is essential, and you should always be ready to switch to it upon an emergent need. Aside from the slower reload, handling is generally acceptable. You'll find the weapon more than nimble enough for close range use. Aim time is quick at just 200 milliseconds, but this is almost irrelevant given the fact that you'll be just as effective firing from the hip. Switch times are slower than the SMGs, but you should ideally enter combat in a ready state. The SMGs will outpace you in the mobility stakes too, as you'll move at the slightly reduced rate of 
The EVA 8 is designed for a single purpose, close range power. When gearing up, your prime concern should be getting close and downing targets with a single shot where possible. The weapon's iron sights are adequate, but amount to little more than decoration in most practical terms. It is perhaps for this reason that there are no optical options whatsoever for the EVA 8, so you're not offered any choice outside factory issue. There are a number of mods available, however, and each affects the weapon in quite a profound way. The high capacity drum will extend your ready supply from 6 rounds to 9. A 50% increase that will reduce the number of reloads you need. This is particularly useful when facing larger groups of enemies, or in cases where you don't have sufficient time to reload before tackling another foe. Lead wall widens your pellet spread, helping to cover a larger area while firing, but reducing your overall potency as a result. It is effective when tackling groups, or in cases where your aim is off-center, but the reduced reliability of one-shot kills may prove frustrating. Similarly detrimental to your power is the suppressor. With it, you'll no longer appear on your enemy's radar when you fire, but your damage will be significantly reduced. The stealth benefits are helpful, allowing you to operate behind enemy lines with reduced risk of detection, but you do sacrifice part of the shotgun's key strength. Overall, the high capacity drum is the single most advantageous option. An extra 50% capacity per reload will prove very useful, avoiding inconvenient interruption. Both the alternatives will compromise your potential damage output, putting you at a greater risk when facing enemy pilots. As far as the other aspects of your build are concerned, your prime focus should be mobility. The closer you are to your opponent, the more damage you'll be able to dole out. It's definitely worth considering the stim for your tactical ability. With it active, you'll be able to move faster and regen more quickly, letting you rapidly cover open ground and otherwise escape an unwinnable gunfight. Pair it with the Enhanced Parkour Kit in Tier 1 for the ultimate and getaway mobility. A superior ability to cling to walls will come in useful when traversing more open terrain. Now the trick to using the EVA 8 is in recognizing where you are most effective. When in the open, it should be your goal to move as swiftly as possible to cover. The more time you spend exposed, the greater the risk of ranged opposition. Hit and run tactics can work. If you can strike from an unseen angle and quickly eliminate any resistance, keep moving and you can be clear of the area before any reprisal. Once inside a covered location, you can shift down a gear or two. Confined spaces are your domain, and you'll be able to exert a considerable advantage on an enemy foolish enough to challenge you. Unsuppressed fire can even work to your advantage, drawing in enemies hoping to catch you off guard. Be careful when reloading, as you may face multiple opponents in rapid succession. If you've a few rounds left in your drum, it might be wise to delay your resupply until you're certain the coast is clear. Whatever you do, it's important to keep your enemy guessing. Locking down a single location only works for a short while. Eventually, you'll find yourself on the receiving end of your enemy's wrath. The EVA 8 is a potent close quarters weapon that eschews the need for pinpoint accuracy in exchange for a limited effective range. Only the sniper rifles can compare to the shotgun's raw power, but their demand for accuracy renders them useless in close quarters. The shotgun spread means that your aim is of secondary concern. You need only get close to realize the power in a volley of buckshot. The semi-automatic fire means that you do need to be careful with your shot placement. While the buckshot spread lessens the need for absolute precision, a well-centered shot is still essential for reliable one-shot kills. Beware, as outside of close-range encounters, you'll find yourself very vulnerable. The EVA 8 is entirely ineffective at any sort of distance. Its lack of versatility shouldn't come as a surprise, however. The shotgun is a specialized close quarter weapon and does perform better than any other in this capacity. As long as you remember the weapon's shortcomings and can successfully lure foes into close quarters combat, the EVA 8 will endure. The brute force of this 12 gauge might not be the most high tech option available, but in a tight spot, no one can argue with this blast from the past.
Thank you very much for your presence, and join me next time when we'll be covering the Mark V Smart Pistol. Until then, farewell. <laughs>